Hey Caster, Derek here at Break Six Clan. Today I'm gonna be telling you about a special collaboration that I'm working on for a smart cache that's not gonna be hidden here in the US, but gonna be someplace else in the world. Let's get started. So I am super excited to be able to share this project with you. And this project of the smart cache is just not one that is just with me or a collaboration of just with one other person. It's actually a collaboration of, of several of us and because there's different aspects of this project that's gonna be really neat and it's gonna be very unique also to the location that it's gonna be going to. And that location is New Zealand. So this is gonna be a smart cache that's actually gonna be put out in New Zealand. So really super excited about that. So there's aspects of that that we have to think about like, okay, cache maintenance, how is this gonna happen? Because it's a little far from me to go over the a Pacific Ocean to get to New Zealand. As much as I'd like to get to over to, to New Zealand to go do that, I have to think of cache maintenance and how the cache owner will be able to do that maintenance when it needs to be done. So I have to think of that aspect of this as well. And so that's one of the, that's probably one of the biggest hurdles that we've been kind of really tackling on this. And you're going, well, who's this cache for? Well, it's for Richard Coote of Geo Bricks Travels down in uh, Auckland, uh, New Zealand. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I have a link for it down in the description. Check it out. Let me tell you, watching his channel really makes you want to go to New Zealand even more. Just the scenery, and it's just really, really, really beautiful. And him and his wife do a phenomenal job of putting their videos together, and it's it's really cool. So, but he so he reached out to me by email and asked me if I would be uh, willing to do this project. And what it is is it's it's going to require a sound module buttons, of course speakers, and then it's going to kick out a really cool latch. And I'm like, well, yeah, it sounds very similar to something that I've seen before. You know, kind of like the, it well, was with an RFID card, but the Superhero Jeopardy that we've had on here that Bounce Bounce did. And then there's some other ones that I saw up in Mingo that were very similar to this. And I'm like, well, I know somebody that can help me with the coding and help me with the schematics because I, that's part of it sometimes that I'm not really all that great with. So I reached out to DJW House, Dave Wagner, and I said, gave him the information that what we we're going to be working with. And he was like, yeah, I'd love to do this. So that's when we started tackling a lot of the components that we're going to need and kind of thinking of the sizing that the this is going to be and I'm really super excited that I've really started working with PVC board because that's going to make this a lot lighter and a lot more durable to the location it's going to be at. So let, let me go ahead and walk through some of the aspects of this cache that we're going to be building. So the biggest thing that when Richard talked to us was that it's going to be kind of in a residential area and it's gonna need to, the audio on it needs to have like a volume control. And so trying to think of a way that we could do that without having to do a lot of programming. Well, Dave found this really cool speaker and it has a volume control on it. So this is what we're gonna be using. And what's way it comes in to the board is with a USB. So it's gonna get powered by the USB and then it also is gonna come in just with an eighth inch jack, stereo jack. And that's how we're gonna be able to control the volume of it so we can so Richard can kind of get the volume that he needs in the location without having to do any coding. So that's that's one of the biggest goals there. Now the next aspect of it is because of the speaker, there's some different components that we have to add into the Nano, which is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a Nano, and so we have to be able to be able to power a USB. So we have to have a USB connection that we're going to have to wire up. So we're also going to have to have a relay to be able to do a lot of the different stuff in this as well. But of course, with having the speaker and it's gonna be audio, we need an MP3 player. And so we have our MP3 player that we're gonna be adding into this. And Richard is providing us the audio that's gonna be going into this so people can hear the, the audio and select if that's a certain, if that's the answer or not on with the buttons. And then after they get so many answers right, it's gonna fire off with one of these great six volt latches. And there's just a lot of aspects to this that's gonna be going on. So I just wanted to kind of give you a brief uh, walkthrough real quick of some of the components that we're gonna be adding into this. I really am super excited about this speaker because of the volume control. I think that's really gonna be great. And then some of the, all the other aspects of it. So uh, once again, DJW House did this phenomenal schematic for me. Uh, so now this next week or so, I just gotta go through the schematic and put it together and we're gonna do some final testing 
before I finalize the actual wiring where I'm gonna solder it all in there and then get the dimensions that I really do need to be able to build into the birdhouse itself and get everything set up in that. So that's what we're gonna be doing this project. We're gonna be doing the smart cache for GeoRex travels down in Auckland, New Zealand. And thanks for reaching out to me, Rick. And then also uh, with DJW House uh, helping me with the components and everything that we're gonna need. See, I don't know that part of it, but I have friends that can help with be able to help this work out and I can do the build. So I hope this will be something that you're really excited about this series that we're gonna be doing on the Smart Cache. I know I'm gonna be learning quite a bit on this as well. So it, come with us as we learn together through this build. And I really look forward to the next several videos as we start putting this together. All right, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos right over here and find the story behind the cache.